Hello everyone, Phoenix L here, and welcome back to some Firewatch. Now, it left pretty crazy. Where is my mouse? There we go. It left off pretty crazy the last time we played, so I'm interested to see where it goes now. <laughs> the whole everybody's been watching us while we're we're doing our job. That's kind of crazy. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. Oh, God. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You've got to find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! <laughs> good plan. I'm a good planner. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Shit! What? Ah! Huh. See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but... It was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And More. it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god. I'm going. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and 
it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? What the hey? So this person still can hear their conversations. together okay keep our story straight from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation everything we just we got to be honest and consistent yeah I suppose you're right I know oh, the generator in that house there it is Ooh, a little bit of lag there. I didn't. No way. They're just they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Oh, light down yeah, there? you're right. That's not gonna happen though. Oh, no. Thanks, Henry. in here. Not creepy at all. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, 
There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Go down there. So, something I never told you, or anyone, about Brian. In regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. be down that way. not any way out. Hmm. 
and looking it up.